Hello and welcome to February's edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Peter Soy. Strange Matter is a new exhibit coming to the fleet on February 9th. To get you in the spirit for this wacky and wild exhibition, we're going to lead you through an experiment that we call polymer putty. I'll explain what you're going to need for this experiment, but remember, you can find all of the instructions and materials for these experiments on our website at rhfleet.org. For this experiment, you'll need borax, some white glue, water, three plastic cups and spoons, and you can, use all, you can also use some food coloring to color your strange matter. Great, so let's go ahead and learn what we need to do for this experiment. First, you'll need to dissolve four tablespoons of borax powder in two liters of warm water. Then prepare the glue solution by adding equal parts of glue and water, then mix well. The ratio for this next part is two to one. You'll need two parts of the glue solution and one part of the borax solution. So basically, we prepared these beforehand and poured them into these cups. This is the glue solution that we added the food coloring to. You can also add glitter to it to make it a designer goo. And this is the borax solution with the four tablespoons of borax with your two liter bottle filled with warm water. <clears throat> so then what you're gonna do, once again, you need a two to one ratio for this. So that's two of the glue solution to one of the borax solution, like so. And then all you have to do from there is stir it. And you'll actually see the texture changing. And remember, you can add glitter or different colors for really cool effects. Hmm. Peter, what's going on here? Well, polymers are practically profound. Let's probe into their possibilities and ponder their peculiarities. In other words, let's find out that pol what polymers actually are. Polymers are long chains of molecules linked together to make one big molecule. Watch how this polymer behaves. We use polymers every day in the form of plastics. Polymers are even inside of us in the form of DNA. Thanks, Peter. We hope you have fun experimenting at home. Try different ways of doing this experiment, like adding salt to the mixture and see if it changes the results. You can also add excess water and see what happens as well. Thanks for watching this month's experiment. Be sure to tune in next month. And remember, do, do try this at home. home. Thank you.